And pray to God for Israel that, that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of they God. They have a desire to get things done. But what is the problem? But not according to knowledge. Why? For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. They're being ignorant, blind. Amen. Of God's right ways. And going about to establish their own righteousness. What happened? Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want you to hear the old man. Amen. Give me some more juice back there. I don't know whether it's John back there, whoever it is. Give me some more juice. And Williams too. There you go. Amen. Don't be afraid to make it loud. That's right. Amen. Make it loud today. That's right. Whenever you are overzealous, you're in a hurry without understanding. That's right. An overzealous person always got their nose in the Bible. That's right. That's and then right. the devil stepped in and capitalized on that zeal. Yeah. He started giving them revelations. Oh, yes. He started giving them dreams. That's right. And where there's revelations from the devil and dreams from hell, the next thing is misinterpretation of scripture. That's right. All right. That's all right. And where there's misinterpretation of scripture accompanied with the overdose of zeal, zeal, you have nothing but a shipwreck. Amen. The Bible says they have a zeal of God, a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. I want to build on that. Amen. Have a longing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got a longing to do something, don't think you know how to do it. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, know what you're doing. That's right. And if you don't know, ask. That's right. So you can be taught the right way. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, we'll start at verse 21. Yes. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Seek ne not out the things. Out the things. That are too hard for thee. That's too hard for you. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Do you hear this? Amen. I can't bench press 400. Yeah. I'm not even going to slide up under the weight. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Someone said, I can bench press it. Okay, I look at you. <laughs> and thank God for you from afar. Amen. But I know I cannot bench press 400, so I'm not going to get under there to try to prove something to somebody no. and end up dead. That's right. That's right. Many have took matters in their own hands to get in the pulpit. Yeah. Get into the Bible and try to prove to others that they're able to quote scripture. Quoting Bible is not preaching. No. A parrot can quote scriptures if you keep repeating it to him. That's right. When you're able by the anointing and the inspiration of God, that's why the apostles had it all right. That's right. They got it from the spirit of God. Amen. Getting it from the spirit, all their information was correct. And after they was taught by the spirit through the son of God, Christ Jesus. That's right. The spirit of God got in them. To preach the message of holiness and sanctification. That's right. Now that same spirit that was in the prophets and the apostles must get in men today. Yeah. To understand what is written. That's right. To properly interpret what is written. That's right. To properly explain what is written. What is written. Without the spirit of God, they cannot accurately analyze and interpret the language of God, the thoughts of God. And then bring it so clear yeah. that a child can understand. That's why I, I, I thank God for the letters. Wonderful. And one thing that thousands of people are saying, that the word of God for the first time to them yeah. is so clearly explained. Wonderful. Yeah. And I thank God that he didn't give us an unlearned tongue. That's right. But he gave us the tongue of the learned okay. that I may know how. To speak a word in season. In season. Isn't that what the Bible says? In Isaiah chapter 15 at verse 4. That's what? The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned. You see, your tongue, blessed be the most high, must be God given. That's right. Formed by God. That's right. Created by God. Amen. That you may properly pronounce the message of God. That's right. 
And to properly bring the message of God, you must be able to make the prophets and the apostles harmonize. That's right. Not having one scripture contradicting the other. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned. That I should know how to speak a word. What? That I should know how to speak a word in season. Wait a minute. Amen. That you should know how to preach the word at the, at, at the right time. To him that is weary. Amen. You have to know how to preach the word of God at the right time. That's right. In season, in season. it means at the right time. That's right. Glory to God. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wake morning by morning. He wakeneth mine ear to hear. He wake my ear to hear. As the learn. Glory to God. So God have to open, open the ears of the minister and seal his instruction. The Lord God has opened mine ear. Do you hear this? In the book of Isaiah 50 and verse 5. He have opened my ear. And I was not rebellious. I was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. I was not Rebellion. hard head against what I heard. Neither turned away back. So he said, preach the word. Amen. Be instant in season mm -hmm. and out of season. So when you overzealous, mm -hmm. the symptoms of an overzealous man or woman are anxiousness. That's right. Fasting more than what they should. Amen. Amen. Trying to fast three days and three nights every week. Every week. That's Running at a pace they can't keep up. Be not righteous over much. They can't keep up the pace. Yeah. Always got their nose in the Bible reading, but yet don't wait to get an understanding, but it's quick to fight based upon what they read. That's right. Over Zalius. Over Zalius. Ready to condemn and reprove and rebuke. And yet they themselves don't understand who Jesus is. That's right. right. Overzealous bring about being overrighteous. Overrighteous. Oh, yeah. They so overzealous. They can't even be a father to their children. That's true. A child can't even play with the doll baby without the father telling him if you play with the doll baby, you're going to hell. That's right. He's so overzealous that if his wife go out and buy a negligee because she just want to, amen, entice yeah. and lure her husband. Yeah. <laughs> She'll come in all dowdied up and stand up the door and say, honey, what you think? Mm -hmm. But because he's so overzealous, he'll say, listen, you Jezebel, take that off. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Overzealous, besides getting up testifying what God done for you, yeah. You want to seize that moment to try to preach. Amen. And show people what little knowledge that you don't have. That's right. Overzealous. Be not righteous over much. When you're overzealous, besides on your knees praying, asking God for help, you down there trying to give a sermon. Mm-hmm. That's right. Overzealous. That's right. You see, when you're righteous over much, you're trying to do more than what even God told you to do. Neither make thyself overwise. What? Neither make thyself overwise. Listen, just be wise. That's it. It's more easier to be dumb. <laughs> That's right. It's difficult to be wise. That's right. But when you find someone overwise, they overanalyze the Bible. Amen. You know, have you ever talked to some people who they take the situation and overanalyze it? They read into it too much. Right. And it's a situation is not even what, what they think it is. That's right. But they just overindulge their thinking and come out upset, mad over something they ain't got to be mad about. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Over there. Be not righteous over much. Do you hear this? Still in the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 16. Don't be righteous over much. Neither make thyself over wise. Amen. Don't make yourself over wise. Why shouldest thou de destroy Why thyself? Should listen, if you're righteous, here, 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 hear the old man now. Amen. If you're righteous over much, and if you're over wise, mm -hmm. the prophet asks a question. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? He let you know that if you're righteous over much or over wise, what's gonna happen to yourself? Why should is thou destroy thyself? Why would you destroy yourself? Be not over much wicked. Don't be over, don't overdo your wickedness. Neither be thou foolish. Don't be foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? Amen. When you're righteous over much, Amen. You're gonna declare the Lord said this. The Lord said that. The Lord said the other. That's right. Amen. Someone called me and said uh, they was picking with me. I said, "What's going on, brother?" 
I said, what's funny? He called me from Alabama. He said, uh, your buddy is dreaming about you again. Lord. I said, I don't have no buddy. He said, I know, but uh, we're talking about who we down here call Yosemite Sam. He's dreaming about you again. He's saying the Lord told him something else about you. And the Lord told him this about you. The Lord told him that about you. My Lord. Well, my Lord, how can one man be on the mind of someone so bad? How long shall this be in the heart? How the long prophet? shall it be in the heart? Of the prophets. Of the prophets. That prophesied lies. That prophesied lies. They, they are the prophets they of the They are the prophet of their own deceit. Of their own of heart. their own heart. I have heard what the prophet said. I have said. heard the prophet said. That prophesied that lies prophesied in my name. That lies in God's name. Saying I have dreamed. I had a dream. I have dreamed. I had a dream. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's written. It's written. It's written. I have to preach it because it's written. That's right. Amen. Think of it, viewers. All these men in the world. How is it that one man Always Amen. dreaming about Pastor Jennings. That's right. How is that? Right. That one sad man stranded on an island somewhere. That's right. Can have all these dreams about Pastor Gino Jennings. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Do you hear that? Sayeth the Lord. And what make it so bad whenever someone hates someone. Yeah. If, if Brother Williams hates shade and yeah. Williams keep dreaming about shade, someone had got the same feelings towards shade that shade don't know nothing about yep. all Williams got to do is say I had this dream about shade this dream about shade some folk won't get on Williams dream bandwagon yes they would you know why they feel the same way about shade that Williams do that's right there's these lemonade preachers that's right who's out there talking about they had dreams about Pastor Jennings he gonna die and they saw that first church fell apart yes listen it never happened. It never happened. And if they say God said it, they lied on Jehovah. That's right. Amen. That's God right. Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, is with the truth of God. That's right. How long? That's Who right. will take God until Jesus comes? Amen. Amen. So you don't ever have to worry about the church folding up or souls stop coming in or people no. all leaving the church. No, sir. Oh, no. Uh, this thing is bigger than Pastor Jack. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Hell that's right. It's bigger Hallelujah. than Pastor Jennings. See, that's being overzealous. Oh, yeah. That's why I can thunder it. Glory to God. God. That's right. And hallelujah. And preach it to the world. That's right. Thanks be unto God because I got some backing here. Amen. Now here's a fellow that's telling the world that God Almighty, and I can say it just as cool and calm, <laughs> with the greatest of confidence that <laughs> the I am. Go ahead. That I am Go ahead. is with the truth of God. That's right. So all of you fellows that have come with these McDonald's Burger King uh, uh, television living land dreams Dream. that come out of hell from your grammar school backpacks. That's right. You're late. That's right. Or they got the truth of God's ship have already been to sell. That's right. And the devil in hell cannot harpoon it and make it sink. Amen. Amen. Because it's on float today by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Hell? I am against them. So God is against these fellows that got all these type of dreams. Men with dreams. Women with dreams. I don't pay that no mind. That's right. Amen. You came late. God Amen. have spoke to us over 40 years ago. <laughs> that's, right. that's why I laugh when I hear of the dreamers. But you bear in mind, dreamers. when you're overzealous and overrighteous, you want to appear to be this uh, great divine person. That's right. Someone whom God always dealing with, and yet God you don't even know. That's right.